Have you ever heard of a project so ambitious it redefines a city? Meet the Grand Paris Express, a mind-blowing $39 billion transformation of Paris's metro. Imagine stepping into elegant Art Nouveau entrances, wandering through intricate tunnels, and hopping on trains that zip beneath and sometimes above some of the world's most iconic streets. This transportation network has inspired countless movies, novels, and poems. It even has stations named after a South American revolutionary, a US president, and a Soviet victory. And in true Parisian style, some stations are like many art galleries themselves. However, there's a problem. The Paris Metro, built in the early 1900s and now ferrying nearly 4 million passengers daily, is starting to show its age. Its facilities are struggling with the city's growing population. For many Parisians, especially those in the outer suburbs, getting from point A to point B often means a tedious journey through the congested central districts. But don't worry, change is on the horizon, and it's massive. The Grand Paris Express is gearing up to deliver the biggest upgrade to the Paris Metro in decades. Imagine a sprawling new 200-kilometer system, complete with four new lines and 68 brand new stations. This is a game-changer that's set to redefine commuting in Paris. So how will this mega-project impact daily life in Paris? What innovative technologies are being used to bring this vision to life? And how will the new trains transform the commuting experience for millions? Right now, the Paris Metro mainly serves the city center, and that's a bit of a problem. Paris isn't just its famous 20 arrondissements, it's a sprawling megacity with around 10 million people. Public transport, especially a robust metro system, can unlock the potential of disconnected areas and create new destinations. Think about London's iconic tube or China's extensive metro lines around Shanghai and Beijing. They've transformed their cities. What could a similar renovation do for Paris? Here's where it gets really exciting. The Grand Paris Express isn't just about getting people from point A to B. It's a powerful means to fight social inequality. But how, though? Consider the 42 new stations that'll be within 800 meters of priority districts, from clichy sur bois to Bagneux and Villejuif to Massy. These neighborhoods could really use a boost. With 11 times more job opportunities within a 45 commute from the clichy Montfermeil station, the impact will be significant. This isn't just about transport. It's about transforming urban life. New activities, job opportunities, diverse housing, shops, and services will revitalize these neighborhoods. It's a real game changer for the communities that need it most. And you know what? It's not just the priority districts that will benefit. Areas like Thiers, Rungis, and Plateau de Saclay, which currently have poor public transport, will finally be connected. These outer suburbs already house companies, engineering schools, and research centers and the new metro will enhance access, making them more vibrant and accessible. This massive project's construction started in 2016, five years after then-President Nicolas Sarkozy put the idea forward. The main aim is to connect the far-flung suburbs to Paris and each other more effectively. This should really boost the commercial viability of neighborhoods, business areas, and towns. By 2030, they expect the system to carry at least 2 million passengers daily helping to move the Ile-de-France region away from car dependency and towards cleaner public transportation. But there's more to the story. Of course, there's a significant environmental cost to building on this scale. However, once operational, the Grand Paris Express is expected to be a major carbon saver. This is partly why Harvard University awarded it the 2023 Veronica Rudge Green Prize in Urban Design, recognizing how it transforms cities and lives in extraordinary ways. The new metro will cut CO2 emissions by at least 14.2 million tons of CO2 equivalent by 2050. And it's been quite a journey to get here. This vision has endured through three presidential administrations despite delays and costs ballooning to 36 billion euros. Originally, it was supposed to be ready for the Paris Summer Olympics in 2024. But like many large-scale projects, delays have been inevitable. But once completed, the Grand Paris Express will be a monumental leap forward for the city. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty of the Grand Paris Express. It's pretty exciting. Did you know this project isn't just about new lines, but also about extending the existing ones? Yes, Line 14 is getting a serious upgrade, stretching both north and south. Plus, they're adding four entirely new lines, 15, 16, 17, and 18. But that's just the beginning. Each station will boast a unique architectural flair designed for maximum passenger comfort. These stations aren't just stops, they're experiences, 
complete with retail shops, amenities, and dedicated parking for pedestrians, bicycles, and cars. Plus, they'll connect seamlessly with the existing Rizzo Express Regional, tramways, metro, and bus stations. Let's talk about Line 14 first. It's like the backbone of this whole project. It's already extended north with a new 5.8-kilometer tunnel and four new stations from saint Lazar to Marie de saint ouen which went live in December 2020. And by 2024, it'll push even further to saint denis Pleyel, connecting with the new Lines 15, 16, and 17. On the southern end, Line 14 is expanding 14 kilometers from Olympiades to Orly Airport, with seven new stations, including Bicetre Hospital and Villejuif Gustave Roussy. This extension even includes a new maintenance and storage site in Morangy and 12 service structures to keep everything running smoothly. Have you ever wondered how a metro line could circle a city? That's Line 15 for you, a massive 75-kilometer loop around Paris divided into east, west, and south sections. The east section, connecting with lines 1, 5, 7, 11, and 12, started prep work in 2018. The west section, connecting with lines 1, 9, and 13, began in 2017. Both sections should be operational by 2030. And then there's line 15 south, a 33-kilometer stretch linking lines 4, 7, 8, 9, and 13, expected to be ready by the end of 2025. What about line 16? This line is a huge 46.67 kilometers long, with 10 stations between Saint-Denis-Pleyel and Noisy-Champs. The first part will be up and running by the end of 2026, with the rest following by 2028. Then there's line 17, covering 26.5 kilometers with 9 stations from Saint-Denis-Pleyel to Les maisny la melon expected to serve 565,000 passengers daily. It's split into north and south sections, with the northern part expected to start service by the end of 2026. Work link tracks and overhead systems between Le Bourget Airport and Pas de Exposition starts in mid-2024. Last but not least, Line 18, a 35-kilometer line with both underground and elevated tracks running from Orly Airport to Versailles Chantier. It's opening in three phases, Massy Plaisir to CAE Saint-Aubin by the end of 2026, Massy Plaisir to Orly Airport by the end of 2027, and finally, all the way to Versailles Chantier by 2030. The first section of the 6.7-kilometer viaduct for Line 18 was completed in March 2023. But what are the construction techniques making this colossal project possible? The project is divided into sections of about 3.5 kilometers each. The smart strategy helps speed up the process and keeps tunnel entrances and access shafts open for the shortest time possible. One of the cool aspects of this project is the use of BIM technology. The Grand Paris Express is actually the largest project ever to use BIM or Building Information Modeling Technology. But what does this mean for the project? Essentially, engineers have created an incredibly detailed 3D digital model of the entire 12,000 square kilometers of the Paris region. This model includes geological layers and over a million buildings. It's like having a digital twin of the city, which helps with real-time progress monitoring and coordination among construction crews, engineers, and project managers. Pretty amazing, right? Now let's talk tunnels. The new metro tunnels are being dug up at an average depth of 30 meters. That's double the depth of the original network. But why so deep? Well, it ensures stability on the city's chalk bed. But there's one exception. The Noisy Champs station, which will be 52 meters deep, making it the deepest in France. But also, why so deep here? Well, because Line 15 has to tunnel under the River Marne and below the water table in saturated rock, requiring special waterproofing and deep reinforced piles. To make all this happen, they've deployed 18 German-made tunnel boring machines and two Chinese-made ones. These machines are like underground giants, excavating hundreds of tons of rock and soil every day beneath the Paris region. And here's a fun fact. These TBMs are lining the tunnels with curved reinforced concrete slabs, creating super durable metro tunnels that are expected to last over a century. So what can we expect from the trains on the Grand Paris Express once everything is up and rolling? Imagine cruising at speeds between 55 and 65 kilometers per hour, with a maximum speed hitting 110 kilometers per hour. These trains are not just fast, they're packed with cutting-edge technology and thoughtful design. First off, they'll feature a sleek, contemporary look and be equipped with electric service braking and automated driverless operations. That's right, no drivers needed. These trains are designed to consume less energy and come with highly efficient heating, cooling, and ventilation systems, ensuring a comfortable ride regardless of weather. But the innovation doesn't stop there. These trains will be decked out with LED lighting, including lights beneath the seats, USB sockets for charging your devices, internet connection, and plenty of space for wheelchairs and strollers. Plus, there will be video surveillance throughout the trains for added safety. 
To make things even more user-friendly, important spaces in the train will be marked with distinctive colors, helping passengers easily find their way. And the capacity? Line 14 trains will hold up to 950 passengers, Line 15 up to 1,000, Line 16 and 17 will accommodate 500, and Line 18 will carry 350 passengers. So what do you think of the Grand Paris Express? If you live in Paris or have visited, how do you think this project will change daily life in the city and its surroundings? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any updates on the world's most exciting projects.